Well, the big question is, how do you handle awkward moments? One expert says that we should just embrace those and just let yourself be uncomfortable. How about that? Embrace mm -hmm. the awkward moment. For more on that, we want to welcome motivational speaker, Fundamism Paul. So you wanted to start with, you wanted us to confess some awkward moments that we've had. Yeah, for sure. But first, Pat, if you don't mind, did she just, was she referencing me as an expert? One expert says? You are the expert. You're oh, the dang. expert. You're the expert. I don't know that I've ever got that yes. before. Yes. So yes. yes, I'm sure. We Pat. put a lot of stock in what you have to say. <laughs> I appreciate it. This thing's off the reels already. One would say awkward. Awkward. Uh, Pat, what is an awkward moment? So I had an awkward moment at the beginning of this yes. broadcast. I Forgive me, Paul. Paul. 17 minutes ago. I, 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 I read your title and name, yeah. called off the television. A prompter, and I wasn't sure if I was Fundamism Paul, and you know, Carrie and Abby were like, "That's yeah, Fundamism Paul, you idiot." Yeah, you know? sure. So I felt stupid because I didn't. I, you know, <laughs> I felt like I was the only guy who didn't know who you were, and I botched it, and I felt a deep amount of shame. But that's occurrence. when you embrace it, right? So I should lean it. into this. Yes, for mm -hmm. sure, a thousand percent. Carrie, you got one that you would like to share? I just think every day is awkward for me. <laughs> <laughs> there's not just one moment. There's a lot, yes. and they're all strung together. Uh, same for me. <laughs> and John's shaking his head. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, I think that's fairly common, right? I think that for the most part, a lot of folks walk through life right now and we are fearful of being vulnerable, of expressing our authentic self. I mean, you just showed me your IG, Pat. Everybody on IG right now is trying to claim to be somebody that they're not, right? Mm -hmm. And so I find that the individuals that are most vulnerable, the most authentic, they're the ones that you want to hang out with. Not the ones that seemingly have it all together and perfectionists, right? Right. The ones that are willing to bear their soul and just be open. How many charity events have we been to, Carrie, where there was a group of people People talking and we kind of squeezed our way in there and we just stood there waiting for and the perfect. And we stare at each other. That's exactly I'm like, right. I know you, you know me. Let's stand here in the corner and be awkward That's and look at right. everybody else. Yes. So Carrie, you know the story. This is the most awkward, Pat asked me. It's the most awkward day in my life. <laughs> my best friend in the whole entire world, a gentleman by the name of John Starter, calls me excitedly one day and he says, dude, did you realize that they make wrestling singlets with cat profile pics on them? <laughs> and so I said, John, how could I possibly know that? He says, good point, Paul. I bought right. two. Oh, my God. So I said, what are we going to do with those? He says, I don't know, but it's going to be awesome. Right. A couple weeks later, we go out to the stadium. Year's 2014. Mm -hmm. Royals haven't won a postseason game in 29 years. Haven't been to the postseason yeah. in 29 oh, years. Oh, sure. Derek Jeter's retiring pace from baseball. So we get out there with these wrestling singlets on, cat profile picks on them. We have all these cat pun signs, signs that read right. things like, Derek Jeter, one classy cat. Oh, I see. All uh -huh. right. Strike yeah. him outright, Matt Meow, and uh, pursuit <laughs> of the World Series. Now, Pat, you're going to love this. We called ourselves the designated litter. Oh, I see what you did. So, <laughs> so we go out to the stadium and chaos ensues. We take over 100 photos day one. We go on live TV the next day, yep. which is where we met. And uh, th this gentleman, he runs up to me one day at the stadium. He says, how do you do it, man? How do you do it? I said, how do I do what? He says, how do you dress up like this? Uh, wrestling singlet on, cat profile pic on it, kibbles and bits hanging out for the whole world to see. <laughs> <laughs> so I yeah. told him, I said, sir, somebody once told me, don't worry about what people think about you, because they don't think about you. And I'll repeat it for everybody here listening today. Don't worry about what people think about you, because they don't think about you. If you think about all the stock yeah. that we put in everybody else, right, and their thoughts, and how we experience our life on this earth, the truth of the matter is the bulk of the folks that we give power to and how we experience life will not be at our funeral celebrating our life when it's all said and done. True. This is my third Motivational Monday. I've messed up no less than 15 times. Not one person has reached out to me and said, you sure messed up your words, you sure flubbed that one up. Right. So embrace awkward moments and watch how liberating your life might be as a result. Yeah, it, it's such a good point because you can really imprison yourself, you know, when you're you just can. like worried constantly mm -hmm. about how you're gonna be perceived. You know, so le lean into it. Lean into I, it. We actually do a pretty good job of that here, I think. Well, at some point, when the camera's just on all the time, <laughs> yeah, you got it's going to gonna catch all of it, so just go with sure. it. Sure. No, it's true. I always say, like, honestly, like in our line of work, like, the best moments are, like, the things that the slip weird ups, moments. the goofy things. Yeah. You know, the dog does something in a live segment. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's always my favorite thing. Yeah. When and it's like the weird thing you didn't plan on. I would add to that, even off air, Nick Vassas and I were talking about the email that he sent to corporate during uh -huh. the pandemic, right? Yes. Because he was sick. Yeah. And uh, of course he sends it to everybody. So I said, well, what, what was your experience with that? He said, Paul, people were sending me all sorts of get well cards and, and medicine. It was amazing. And, yeah. It was amazing. Like Robitussin sent cases. Right. And cases. right. Yeah. And so we look at it as like, oh, I made a huge mistake. But at the end of the day, we all make mistakes. People love it. Yeah. And people love it. Right. Aww, I love this segment. I and I hate that it has to end. But 
Where can people find you? Uh, at Fundamism Paul. Pat nailed it earlier. So mm -hmm. at Fundamism Paul. <laughs> you can also visit my website, uh, www.pauljlong.com. Pauljlong.com. And volleylamacasey.org. We're having our big celebrity pickleball tournament this Thursday at Chicken and Pickle and OP. Volleylamacasey.org to learn more. Wow. Good stuff. Great All stuff. Right, Paul. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so for much. coming on today. All